Hey guys, Larry the Tractor Guy here. I want to talk real quick about an L340 baler. Talking about bell length is greater than set length. Now this is a code that we were getting on this L340 uh, the last time that we bailed, and I'll show you the fix for that here in a few moments. But I went back and looked on his display here and found that code, that 78772, and then also a 3779. 0.15 okay and that's talking about bell length is greater than set length now we're going to go back into his baler settings here so his length basically is back there on the selector arm and he has his length set okay this is a manual tie baler he has his length set for seven feet okay and so it knows that the last time that it tied a bale out that it was 63 flakes of hay okay that's the only real reason, uh, the only way that an L340 manual tie with a selector arm would be able to decide whether the bell length is greater than the set length. And so we're looking at that right there and we see that it's 63 flakes. Now, what he's seen in the past when he had this issue and hit that code, that it would be unrealistic. In other words, instead of being around that 60 to 63 flakes or somewhere in that neighborhood it would be like hundreds of flakes maybe two or three hundred flakes of hay and he would go back and look and he knew that he only had a seven foot bell so that means that the trip mechanism was working everything was working correctly on the baler except for the flake count i'm going to go back and show you what we did to correct that problem we're up on the back side of the l340 baler this would be your selector arm this would be your adjuster here to adjust the length of your bales. Now remember, I said that he had his bale length set at about seven foot, okay? So basically what counts that is this star wheel. So there is a spiked wheel inside of that housing there that is driven by the hay that is in the bell chamber. So as the plunger moves and pushes a flake of hay into the bell chamber, okay, it moves this star wheel, which in turn moves this shaft. Okay, this shaft comes over here and it drives a sensor that is right in this area. You can see the harness. The sensor is actually a bearing that's inside of this small housing here, okay? Okay, that is the flake counter sensor. Okay, you can see the little wiring harness coming out of there at the bottom. Okay, so it drives that. Then it also drives the selector arm upward Okay, with this little gear to trip the knotter and tie a bell out, okay? So the only real reason that it knows that, that the length is greater than what it's set for is by the flake count, okay? So in this case, he had a bad flake count sensor, which is here, okay? And we went ahead and replaced that, uh, corrected his problem. So just a quick reminder, and a quick recap that if you're getting that alarm saying that uh, your bell length is greater than is what it's set for in the display, that you could potentially have a problem with that flake count sensor. I hope that helps you out. Tech tip of the day from Larry the Tractor Guy, signing out. Hey guys, check out Larry the Tractor Guy videos here, other videos here, subscribe here, and buy all your John Deere parts here. We'll make it work. I think we're gonna have to make it. We'll make it work. Come on, let's go. <laughs> we need to make you need some bloopers. Y'all already burned me out. Y'all already burned me out. He's sitting in the sun over here, man.